Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so today, this is a little bit of an unusual tip because I am going to answer the question that I get asked the most about my videos or my demos as well. And that question, are you on the edge of your seat? That question is, what are these three things on the left-hand side of the screen? <laughs> Some of you know, some of you do not. Do I need to know what these three things are, Lynn? And the answer is yes, you do. It's gonna make your life more efficient. It's gonna help you get, you know, have less picks and clicks. And you guys know I am lazy. I'm all about efficiency, getting the job done as quickly as possible. And I know many of you know what those are, but for those of you who don't, let me walk you through the process. These are palettes. And I did an entire tip all about palettes, but I didn't really talk about how to get these guys on the left-hand side of the screen until the end of the, of the tip. And I think many of you must have fallen asleep. You didn't get that far. <laughs> so let's just go straight to that point. All right, so these are palettes that I use all the time. The Sheet Set Manager. I'm always grabbing drawing files from sheets. Uh, the Layer Manager and the Properties Manager. And you probably have some palettes that you use all the time as well. And I like to dock them on the left-hand side of the screen because I can get to them very easily. I don't have to search for them. I don't have to find them. And they don't take up very much room because I'm also very greedy with my screen real estate. Are you? Are you like me that way? I don't want things cluttering up my screen. You can dock them on the right-hand side of the screen too, but I just find bad things happen when they're over there. Just keep them on the left. That's my advice to you. Just do, just do it my way. <laughs> my way or the highway. So how? How do you dock these magical, this magical goodness palettes on the left-hand side of the screen? And how do you keep the icons so small? How do you do that, Lynn? I will show you. It's super simple. You have to simply go to the palette that you're after. Let's say I was wanted to have Design Center on there, for example. I mean, you have to go find the palette. Here we have Design Center. And then you're going to click on this bar on the left-hand side. You're going to do a right click and you're going to start off by saying allow docking. Okay. And then you will see that when you do that, if you do a right click, you now have another option that allows you to anchor left or anchor right. Don't anchor right. Stay to the left for a lot of reasons. <laughs> anchor left. And now as I move my cursor over to the left-hand side, you will see that magic happened. And now it's a tiny little icon and it's there until I tell it to go away. Now you do have some options over here. If I do a right click, I can switch it to, deck, to text for those of you who prefer text words. You don't wanna to get too many palettes over there. Bad things happen, everything gets really crowded, but you can switch it to words if you prefer. I like the icons. It doesn't matter, you've already taken up that screen real estate, so feel free to change it to text. I just prefer the icons. I'm familiar with them. I know what they are. It's easy to get to them. It's all upper left-hand corner, one-hand movement. I don't have to go find them on the left-hand side. I'm pretty close no matter what, as long as I gravitate to the upper left-hand corner. All right, so that's a pretty simple tip. But once again, I get asked that question all the time. What are those images in the upper left-hand corner of your screen there in the drawing area? So do yourself a favor. Take your palettes, dock them on the left-hand side of the screen, switch them to icons, and make it really easy for you to get to your favorite palettes. All right, there is your tip. No more emails about it. I'm not answering any more emails about it. Don't ask me. I'm not going to answer. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know I will, but don't ask me. Just watch the tip. All right, have a great rest of the week. See you in two more weeks.